not looking forward to doing this. <laughs> Silky smooth legs, silky smooth armpits. And it feels like you're in your pajamas. Oh, I feel like a goddess. You know, I'm meant to be lounging and being fed grapes on a Roman wool or Roman baths. Love, I like to be able to spin. I feel like Cinderella. Just ignore the bra straps. Oh, I look great, I'm so body confident. <coughs> oh, Alex, I found a hair clip and a battery. So if these are out of fashion, I don't care. But I need a lippy top up. Cute, cute, cute. What do you want? I mean, let's see these boobies. Do you really think that this is gonna fit into that tiny little? I would burst out of that. Love them on the bum as well. A tampon that looks like it needs to go in the bin. Welcome back. We are doing a spring summer wardrobe switch around try on declutter. I like to do this every change of season. So I do it in autumn, winter, and then I do it in spring, summer, because I like to have everything in my cupboard that I can wear for that season. I do this for so many reasons. Number one, I find it's a really great incentive to declutter and organize your wardrobe and know what you do or don't wear. And number two, it really does stop me from shopping. So every season when it changes, especially the kind of winter into spring, summer, or the uh, summer into the autumn, those dramatic changes in temperatures and seasons, especially here in the UK, does make you tempted to go out and buy new clothes. But if you do this, you get to root through the clothes you haven't seen for a long time. I pack them away in vacuum pack bags, which I'll show you. And I get stuff out and I think, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this dress, I forgot I had this outfit. And it really does stop me from going out and shopping. I've got some trips coming up that I definitely wanna buy some things for, but having these things packed away and then I get them out again, makes me realize actually do I need to go shopping? Maybe it will stop me from buying so many things and I think it's a cycle that some of us can get into, especially in this very consumerist world. We are basically told that we need to be constantly buying new things, constantly reinventing our wardrobes, trying out new trends and the trend cycle is getting quicker and quicker. And I just want to remind you that you don't have to follow those trends. You can shop your own wardrobe, you can organize the things in your wardrobe and be a bit more aligned with what you do or don't need. I'm not saying for a second that you can't go shopping, but just being mindful and uh, sticking with classics, sticking with things that you know you love, that suit your body, colors that you enjoy to wear, uh, can really just minimize the amount of shopping and the amount of things that we're constantly craving and wanting and needing because I'm gonna be the influencer to tell you that you do not need to go shopping every season for a whole new wardrobe. Pack it away every season and then it will really, really help to minimize that. So without further ado, let's get into my wardrobe and try some things on because I need to do that this time. It's gonna be a bit triggering. I've got a bit of body image self-esteem issues, but I think it's important to try things on and be really honest about what I do and don't wear and what I do and don't like on my figure and on my body. I had a little pamper as you can see, but I'll talk more about that in a second. So let's get into my wardrobe. Actually, let's first go and get my vacuum packed bags out of the other room. Bag number one. Oh, bag number two. So this is what we're working with. I have this wardrobe here, which is tops, trousers, jumpers, shoes. And then we have the fun wardrobe, which is dresses and some more shoes. And I'm out of breath <laughs> getting those things out. So the way that I like to do this, and I've shared this in all of my decluttering videos, is I really like to comb through everything. You can do this in lots of different ways. You can start with just a drawer. You can start with a whole chest of drawers. You can start with your entire closet be reasonable and be realistic on what you can achieve. So this may take two days. I may st start today and then finish it tomorrow. We'll see how I get on. But I'm gonna pick an area and begin with that and try and take everything out so you can clearly see what you've got. So I think that I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with my dresses because that's fun, isn't it? So we have all of my dresses in this wardrobe and I'm gonna take every single dress out one by one, try them on and decide whether it's a yes or a no. We have this jumpsuit, which potentially I might wrap around the back as well. So you can wear the bow at the front, at the back. I love this. It's very see-through, but it's perfect for a holiday because you can shove this on over a swimsuit. I just think it's very comfortable and practical. This is from Linen Fox and I love it. So I kept this in my wardrobe for winter 
Not sure why, because I literally haven't worn it all winter. 100% <laughs> keep. You might have seen me wear this the other day in my cute little picnic video for Connoisseur. This is vintage, beautiful. Huge skirt, love it. This is potentially more of a winter. I would wear this with a pair of tights and boots. So for the summer, it kind of just looks like you have forgotten your trousers. I did take this on our honeymoon and wore it with a pair of shorts underneath, so I think I'm gonna keep this. I was actually gonna mention to you that this morning I had a bit of a pamper, kind of to preempt this spring summer season because obviously all these clothes show off a lot more skin you're showing your legs off with my nice bruise <laughs> and you're going to be getting your skin out a lot more and it's something that I've actually been quite self-conscious about before I've shared my body image worries and also part of that body image worry is hair growth I have a big head of thick wavy dark hair and that means that I have hair all over my body. It's something that I've been self-conscious about since I was a teenager. And I really had never found a solution that made me feel uh, secure, I guess, until I started to use IPL at home. And I've been using the best one I've ever tried. I have always found that things like shaving and waxing have never really worked for me. I find waxing extremely painful and also doesn't really do the job because my hair grows back so quickly. So here it is, this is the Ulike Air 10. This is the best IPL device I've ever used. I've used quite a few, and I've used a few that haven't really worked very well. I found I'm having to use it a lot and it's not getting the results that I wanted, or it's taking forever. I personally noticed results within a week. I will show you how my legs looked just after one use. You can see that there are gaps in where the hairs are growing. It's very hard to film because um, it really, really reduced the density of my hair. And that was after one use just on my legs. I could not believe how effective it was so quickly. You can see how much thinner the hair is, how it's sparse. And obviously over time that will reduce so that there are no hairs there at all because I'm using it more frequently. But I was just shocked at how much my leg hair changed just after one use. It is mind blowing. I can't, I can't understand how it managed to do that. But my favorite thing actually, to be honest with you, with this device is it has the continual beam system so that you can use it on your legs and you don't have to constantly be holding it and pressing it and holding it and pressing it. It just continuously emits the laser on its own just by holding the button down, which is so much more convenient, especially if you're someone like me, you're six foot, you have a lot of leg and you have a lot of hair makes it so much easier. And another thing that makes this actually work phenomenally well is the dual beam technology. This is industry leading and it means that it's gonna be the most effective IPL treatment available on the market. You won't find one like this. It just overall improves the speed and the treatment's efficiency. Another great thing about it is the SHR system. This is great if you've got stubborn hair, if you've got sensitive skin, or if you've got darker skin. I'm quite a good candidate for IPL because I have very pale skin, very dark hair, so there's quite a contrast. In the past, IPL may not have been as successful if you have darker skin because there isn't that contrast there. The SHR technology essentially maximizes the hair follicle heat absorbance while doing it for a shorter application time, so it improves the effectiveness. And the thing that I notice a lot when I'm using it is how cooling it is because it has the sapphire ice cooling system, which means that the heat is never gonna be getting too high because the surface of this is always cool. You can really feel it, which makes it so much more comfortable. I feel no irritation, no uncomfortable feelings when I'm using it. Basically, I feel nothing except a nice cooling temperature as it glides over my skin. And it's also got multiple modes, so it just depends on what you're doing, what mode you use. And you can use that for high intensity treatments, for touch-ups, the SHR mode for the sensitive skin or the darker skin, and one for standard treatments. So you've got different options there within one device. So if you want to check it out, I highly recommend, obviously spring, summer's upon us now. There are gonna be times when you're gonna have more skin on show and if hair is something that you're uncomfortable with or self-conscious about obviously if you're someone who loves to just rock having body hair that's also very cool i wish i had the confidence um my hair is so dark though i just don't think i could ever have that confidence because i am very very hairy but if you want to check it out i do have a discount code which i'll put on screen and leave down below and they also have a 90 day returns policy so if you're not happy then you can return it within the 90 days um if you haven't experienced the results you're after but i definitely think you will because this is honestly life-changing let's get back to trying so i've got silky smooth legs silky smooth armpits so i can try on some more clothes for you <laughs> this is going to be a keep but it's going away for the winter i think of sequins as very festive christmas new year vibes but love this 
This used to be one of my most worn dresses and I haven't been wearing it as much, maybe because of the neutral tone. I think I need to start styling it with some color, but we love this dress. I feel like I need it in more colors. It's got pockets, it's got a lot of material and it's from Linen Fox. Gorge. I adore this set from Lily and Lionel. It's great for spring, summer or autumn, winter because you could wear it with a cardigan or I could wear this, um, the top with a pair of shorts, the trousers with a, a linen top. It's very versatile. And it feels like you're in your pajamas. <laughs> Not 100% sure on this one because I didn't wear it. I don't think I wore it all, all winter, but actually it's really nice. I'm not really sure why I didn't wear it. Why didn't I wear you? Though, is it really nice? It's like a jumper dress, but it's short and I just don't love this length. But it would, I feel like that this was something that I forgot about because this would look great with over the knee boots. So I'm gonna keep this, but put it away. You'll probably recognize this dress from my book cover and it stayed in my wardrobe, I think, because of just different shoots that I did through autumn, winter. It's from Faithful, love it, keeping it for summer. Just a gorgeous gingham dress that I find really flattering and adorable. Gotta have the right bra though. <laughs> And also I need to cut these bits out. This is a beautiful dress from Needle and Thread. I need to get someone else to zip it all the way up, but just stunning. This is perfect for weddings. And I just love the layers. It's got this lovely floaty layer on top with a completely different pattern underneath with roses, just gorge. And I can see myself wearing this for years to weddings. I mean, just look at the detail. I feel like a goddess <laughs> in this. This is my comfort zone. <laughs> You've seen me wear this so many times. And I've been very naughty about washing this in the washing machine. You can kind of see where the dye is coming off because this is Naked Generation. Very natural, very eco, cool brand. But I love this for being at home. I just absolutely adore it. I've got it in green and white. Just look at how gorge. I feel like a Roman. Look at the die. I'm so silly for washing that you won't hand wash it. Um, I feel like a Roman pre-Raphaelite who's just, you know, I'm meant to be lounging and being fed grapes on a Roman wool or Roman baths. Another linen fox number. Haven't really worn it much so I'm going to keep it this summer to see if I do wear it because it is a lovely colour and it's a lovely dress. I almost think I prefer it without the belt. Very cute. I like the crisscross back because I think you can wear it both ways. This is sea salt. Absolutely love this dress. I wear it so much in the summer. It's really nice and long with a beautiful print. Look at it matching my lipstick and nails. Another stunning Naked Generation dress. Look at all of this material. Love. I live in this. I wear it all winter and all summer. Keep same Naked Generation dress but in this lovely murky khaki green. Stunning Son de Flor dress that makes me feel like I'm living in the 50s. It's just gorge. It has so much material. Look at this. And pockets, um, quite booby. <laughs> Do you see a theme with dresses I like? I like to be able to spin. I think that this is an all year round dress, to be honest. This is probably one of my all time favorite dresses in my whole wardrobe. I have it in maroon. And then I have a, ver a different version of it in cotton rather than corduroy in navy. It's from Nobody's Child and I think it's their starlight dress. And I know they, they have it in different uh, colours. They've got it in literally every colour, patterns, everything. And I actually would like to buy another one for this summer. That's the one thing I had on my list. They have like a, a dark floral kind of one with maybe shorter sleeves. But it's so soft and comfortable and it's not like too fitted. I got it in a size up so that it's not like cutting me at my waist, which is, makes it uncomfortable. Very, very soft, super comfy, but I'll put this away for the winter because corduroy definitely is a winter fabric. Can you tell I love Naked Generation? This is 100% keep. Same beautiful dress in this gorgeous wine maroon color. So I'll just pop this away for the winter. Ah, oh, so comfy. This is my Christmas dress I wear every Christmas day or around Christmas time and it's from Thought Clothing. I've had it for maybe like six, seven years, a long time and it's gorgeous. I haven't bothered to do it up though. <laughs> and it has pockets and very comfy. This is sea salt. I just love the pattern. Keep. 
another sea salt dress absolutely love keep love the pattern a classic this has to be a keep so comfy so easy to style with so many things this is m s love it perfect like beach cover up as well another sea salt number my friend gave me this unsure unsure what do we think this is gonna go in the maybe i haven't really worn it very much honestly no clue why i kept half of these in my wardrobe for winter because this is definitely a summer dress this is and other stories and i love it i feel like cinderella <laughs> it's got the lovely frills it needs an iron or a steam but very booby perfect for holidays look how cute the sleeves are this is a classic it's sea salt i think they gifted this one to me but i just love the color love the print 100 percent keep and maybe at this point you're thinking why on earth do you have so many dresses i will say to keep in mind that my job is to film videos and so for my food videos especially i like to have different dresses and outfits to make the videos look lovely and also to take pictures with so it's not a normal wardrobe for the everyday person keep that in mind gorgeous sea salt denim dress it's so practical and i wear it all the time because it's super comfy this is a vintage number straight from my mum's wardrobe in the 90s how cool it's so cute i wish she had more of them but just feels so nostalgic and i know i remember her wearing so many dresses like this like how 90s is this little swirly embroidery this is a favorite in my wardrobe it's vintage from happy days vintage and penzance and again we're noticing a theme with the massive skirt i wore this to a wedding and i also just wear it casually too it's just so beautiful gives me pretty woman vibes with the polka dots very unsure on this this is very fitted my friend gave me this because she didn't wear it very often but i just i know myself i'm gonna be self-conscious of the stomach i don't know whoops what do you think i think the length is quite nice because it's like culottes would be great for a holiday just to chuck on what do you think i'm gonna put it in the maybe this is another one of those nobody's child starlight dresses except this is short sleeved it's navy and it's in a cotton fabric with these little seams or like little bobbles it has broken though the fabric buttons have popped off probably because maybe i've worn it when it's a bit too tight around the waist so i'm going to see if my mum can fix it if we can't find buttons to match we can at least kind of sew that section there but i love this dress so flattering i just feel like this style is just right for me this dress is per una i love it because of how long it is you probably can't see but it goes right down to the floor down to my feet which is rare super comfy for summer and nice and cool and just absolutely love this dress and it's got tiny little flowers a year round classic from linen fox long sleeve love the buttons this is 100 percent yes i wear it all the time though i haven't worn it recently this is a good reminder just ignore the bra straps another one i'm unsure of just because of how clingy it is to my body i feel like the side it's like i like my bum but i'm so self-conscious and by the way when i'm sharing that i'm self-conscious about my body this is my problem it's society's problem that's placed it on me because i take care of myself i eat healthy i go to the gym i look after my body and if this is the way it looks then i'm healthy so uh, it's internalized body image issues i have adopted from the environment i've grown up in i don't actually believe them to be true on other people if i see a girl who has um curves i actually genuinely believe that they look gorgeous on her just as if i see a girl who's very slim um that looks gorgeous on her too i have to undo the kind of internalized sexism and perfection that we see in the media because that is not actually the truth when you see paintings of women from the renaissance they all look very curvy and soft and gorgeous and i hate that women have been taught that's the only version of beauty is to be very skinny or to be very like toned and a certain body type I don't believe it it's just an internalized self-consciousness i have now that i am really working on um so when i say these comments they are not about you because i can almost guarantee if you were trying on clothes in front of me i would probably think you look great in all of them 
it's it's an issue I have that I need to work on I'm just being honest and it would be fake if I was to stand here and go oh I look great I'm so body confident I'm just not <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep it because it's so comfy and I feel like on holiday you don't care as much <laughs> this is another kind of hand-me-down dress from a friend I only got it this winter so I haven't had the chance to try it out yet so I'll see if I wear it this summer it's nice and frilly the only thing is I think it's a little bit small for me it feels a bit snug around here when I think it's supposed to be kind of loose also if you've noticed I have paint on me then you probably know why <laughs> from my vlogs but what do we think is this just a bit too small on me or does it look nice let me know so we've now delved into the vacuum packed summer clothes because I've done all the dresses in my current yeah. wardrobe this is one that I would never wear with a bra usually because it's got an open back and this is too much cleavage. But I love this. I have this in a printed colour as well. What else do I have it in? I can't remember. But I haven't done up the back, but it's got a lovely bow on the back. Lovely sleeves. I love the fit. I feel like it's extremely flattering on me and big thumbs up. Ignore how creased this is, but this is another Happy Days vintage number and I love it. This is the direction I want to take my wardrobe in because I think that this is more fun. I want to just have a wardrobe filled with vintage, fun, colourful clothes and um, less of the kind of boring stuff because I think my body image issues made me lean towards lots of floaty, plain dresses and I think I just need to have more fun in my wardrobe. That's the one thing I'm hoping for this year. This is another one from Happy Days Vintage. Not sponsored by them but I have bought a lot of things from them. I love the colours. I love the flowers and it has got these little ties at the back so you can cinch it in at the waist a bit more and then it looks really cute with the bows. This is the same exact dress as that blue one from earlier, the And Other Stories one. Perfect for summer garden parties, for going out to dinner on holiday, just love the frills, very cute. This is a gorgeous Nobody's Child dress, lovely and green, I feel very 1950s or something. <coughs> And all these clothes that have been dusty underneath the bed are making me sneeze. This dress will forever remind me of moving into this house because I feel like I filmed a vlog when we first moved in doing this wardrobe in this outfit. It is lovely. I would love if I'd bought this in different colours because I just love the shape of it. But this colour is stunning. And I actually don't remember where this is from. I'll put on screen where it's from, but look at the frilly sleeves. Hee <laughs> hee. I definitely have a style of dress I like, don't I? Pretty unsure about this one. This is a linen fox wrap dress, which on paper works, but I don't know if it's the colour or the fact that it's cinched on my waist. I've never really worn it very much, so let me know what you think. This is going to go in the maybe. But it is very practical, isn't it? Like, for just general... I feel like it's practical. This dress is so cute. This is linen fox. It's so cute because you can wear a t-shirt under it. It's got buttons on the back, so it's reversible. It's just such a cute uh, summer, spring dress. And yeah, I feel like I would love this in different colours. This is 1000% probably my most worn dress in my wardrobe, potentially. It's linen fox. It's just a thin strapped maxi dress. And I love that it's linen. It just elevates it. I feel like it looks much cooler. And I actually kind of want this in a different colour because I live in it so much through the summer. So I'll have a little look. I am a bit linen fox obsessed. I have a theme, linen fox, naked generation, um, sea salt, nobody's child, faithful. I tend to pick a brand and be obsessed with them, buy stuff from them and then like move on. I don't tend to buy from loads of different companies and lots of fast fashion. I don't buy any fast fashion and I stick to brands I know and love. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot this color from the white dress. I was like, what color is the other dress? This is the same as that white dress I showed you earlier. I can't be bothered to do it up. I'm getting a bit tired. I'm gonna take a break in a minute, but this is Faithful, it's gingham. I wouldn't wear a bra with it. It's got the lovely ties at the back, the lovely balloon sleeves, and I just think the green gingham is everything. <laughs> this one is a potential one I'm gonna take on that hen do I mentioned coming up. No, it's like spring, summer vibes because it's longer, so I'll stay warm. It's linen, it's not completely short sleeved, it's got these nice little puff sleeves, nice and booby, <laughs> so I can feel like I'm dressed up for a night out and um, a fun evening, and I can wear sandals with it, or I could wear a pair of little heels. And I think that that is the last dress, so I'm gonna take a break and we'll come back for the rest. Now we've done the dresses, let's move on to jackets. So I've just put on this base layer, this is definitely staying, this is a organic basic striped tee, 
and then we've got Lucy and Yak black cords which are so comfy this is my first jacket that's in the cupboard I keep all my coats pretty much downstairs because I wear them so I will just clear those out um maybe in another vlog if you really want to see my coats I'm not going to include it in this video because it'll become a hundred years long oh Alex I found a hair clip and a battery a battery a g7x battery oh. there we have so I will probably go through my coats in a separate video in a vlog and just subscribe and watch my vlogs to see that because I'm not going to do that today because I don't really put them in my wardrobe or my closet this though I do because it's more of a jacket to me this is vintage I got this in a vintage shop in Penzance it's a really lovely what's the brand Danny Mac coat and I actually am going to keep this in the cupboard because you can take the fleece lining out and it's actually ideal for spring summer if it's raining it's navy I love it let me lower you actually yeah it's a gorgeous navy and it looks cute in this outfit so this is a brown leather jacket if you're new to my channel and I've had this conversation before about the fact that I'm vegan but I buy secondhand leather everyone's different I see it as more sustainable and that's where I stand because no animals have been harmed it's already happened and it's just living in a vintage shop I know loads of people they would feel uncomfortable wearing leather but I personally think it's very sustainable so love this because it's brown it's a bit more of a bomber jacket shape and yeah I love it not with this outfit but I do love it this is a cute blazer this is also a charity shop find I really like these they're great to just throw on over like dresses I used to live in jackets like this and um more girly dresses or outfits underneath in school and in college and it's just like a trend again so I've always worn this kind of thing I would not wear it with this outfit I would wear it with a floaty dress or with something cute underneath this looks too formal looks too you need like the contrast this is another lovely blazer I wore this around my wedding a lot for just a nice cream jacket to go with things so this looks actually probably looks cooler with this outfit because it's cream I don't think I would wear it with this outfit but it would look great with a, a floral dress or um, a black dress even just for that contrast but love this this was a charity shop as well this final one is like a suit the only issue is the trousers have never fit me so it's an iffy one and I do love the jacket though because the jacket does fit me the jacket is more fitted than that other one and this is when I would actually potentially wear it with this kind of an outfit because you can see how the shoulders are fitted it kind of fits the vibe and I love that it's really long I probably still wouldn't wear it with this outfit I feel like again this would be good for going out wearing like a sleek dress underneath or if I was wearing a more formal top I feel like it would look cute and I just don't know what to do with the trousers because I want to keep the jacket but then I don't want to get rid of the matching trousers but then they don't fit me and probably never will because they're tiny it's annoying that's my body shape because my upper body is always a size smaller so I'm just going to keep them just for the sake of having a set but I don't think these are ever going to fit me then I have two denim jackets which were in storage because I feel like denim jackets are very spring summer I wouldn't wear them in the winter because they're not warm enough but I love these because they're different sizes and shapes so this is smaller more cropped I always roll the sleeves up but I love denim jackets I feel like they definitely were a millennial thing and they're definitely of our era but I don't understand how they could ever be out of fashion so if these are out of fashion I don't care because they're just classic to me I've always preferred the oversized fit and I just think they look great with anything like this outfit or literally any outfit that this jacket would suit and I feel great in it I think this is very cool and this is a secondhand Levi's one this one is kind of nostalgic to me because I got this one just before we went on holiday somewhere in Brighton I feel like we were going to Portugal and I was like oh I don't have a spring jacket because that was in my hyper minimalist days I think I only owned a coat so we went into Brighton went to the lanes went to a vintage shop and got this and I think this is a Lee jean jacket this is more oversized um I tend to probably wear this more with dresses saying that I don't know I think I wear this one maybe a bit more but I just love the color um the wash of it and it looks great with any outfit but yeah I feel like because it's oversized I'd probably more likely wear this with a dress these are always better vintage don't even think about buying one new because it's never going to be as good 
this is a gorgeous men's oversized shirt i kind of want more like this because i wear this so much in different colors different styles maybe a white one i do have the organic basics one but that i feel like the shape of it looks like a women's kind of dress but yeah i love this i literally got this in a charity shop this is a great corduroy shirt i had one like this years ago and then rebought a new one in wild pony in falmouth just live in this you've probably seen me wear this loads it's a lovely kind of deep red so comfy too and it looks great in winter with a turtleneck and then in summer you can wear it kind of like as a jacket or a sort of over top love this this is organic basics this was actually still in my cupboard i don't know why because it's definitely not something i'd wear in autumn winter but really really cute and perfect for spring summertime if you roll the sleeves up tuck it in cute i'm unsure on this one i got this in a charity shop but i don't really ever wear it is it very me i suppose it kind of is i do tend to like these kinds of sleeves and you can wear it like that if you're not wearing a bra oh i don't know i either really like it or i don't i just yeah, i feel like this makes me feel like unfashionable <laughs> i don't know why it makes me feel a bit frumpy is that the right word so i'm not sure about this one i need a lippy top up this is thrill hourglass balm my friend kindly gave me this this is naked generation she just didn't wear it and i absolutely love it i've got a similar one but just everything naked generation do big thumbs up from me this was the one that i had already love this it's just a bit more detailed basically because we've got the tassels it's got the frilly sleeve it's got all the embroidery and i adore it i know that there's a word for this style is it romanian and i just think it's gorgeous so absolutely love this top another naked generation i had to get my mum to sew the buttons or well, the buttonholes smaller i can't remember what we did because it did come open but um this is really cute and it's got lovely embroidery loads of detail their clothes are so detailed and such good quality i love the frilly top you can wear it done up to the top or open i think this looks adorable under dungarees as well i would usually tuck it in because it's quite um floaty and long a classic charity shop you can't have a wardrobe without a like check shirt flannel top like this i wear it all the time you probably see it in my vlogs all the time this is another linen fox number i used to have it in white but it got stain on it it's really really good quality shirt and it's got gorgeous wooden buttons but so classic cash like it would look so good tucked in i'm gonna notice when i'm editing this there's certain words i'm saying over and over and i think love it is one of them this is a stay wild swim shirt love it wear it all the time this is an mns shirt this was to replace the linen fox one nowhere near as good quality but i have learned in our house because we've got copper pipes or metal pipes they leave these stains all over white clothes so i'm never spending money on white clothes ever again because they always get marks on them unfortunately and we've tried everything unless we repiped the house <laughs> it's just a problem but this is lovely it's a really nice basic white shirt oversized just classic another classic from sea salt this is a bit more structured it's got more shape to it because i think it's cotton over linen and then i really like the rounded collar bit more like straight but this is so comfortable and really really lovely i feel like whenever i wear it people always say oh, where's that from i don't know why because it's a <laughs> simple shirt but it's from sea salt my last white top this is linen fox i have this in black as well either that's in the summer stuff or i've lost it but it's like a boxy square fit and it's really great under dungarees under anything really or just paired like this it's just classic and simple and i just kind of think the shape is cute for example this set of dungarees which is very short you can really see my bruise <laughs> i'm just unsure alex just said he remembers me wearing this in st ives i wore this in glastonbury as well oh, yeah, yeah. but it's so comfy and it is a vintage set of dungarees i i feel like this is too cute to ever get rid of because this is like perfect for gardening on a hot day just adorable i love the gingham like it's cute it's cute 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 went to put these pinafore on and they don't actually fit me so i'm gonna sell these these are finister and i also just literally never wore them because they're quite short never got round to wearing them because of the length this is potentially my only skirt 
I didn't show you actually, I'll put it on screen. There's a uh, linen fox pink skirt. I didn't even try it on because I know that in the past videos where I've decluttered, I've always questioned that skirt and I've always kept it and I never ever wear it. I literally don't think I've worn it for like three years. So that's gonna be sold. This is my only skirt. I feel like I could do with some more skirts, like some vintage fun colors. And it's just kind of like a, a formal skirt that's nice for going out in. I could definitely take this with me on that hen do. Stripey tops is where I've got issues, but keep. This is the same as that other one, it's Organic Basics, keep. Sea salt, keep. Another sea salt, keep. This is a slightly lighter blue. I've had this for years and I love it because of the boat neck, but I just think it's way too tight. Just uncomfortably tight, so this is gonna be sold. Same thing again in grey, keep. <laughs> this is the last sea salt top and I love that it's embroidered with a heart. I think that they can do it with different things you can get embroidered on. So cute, so keeping. I was wrong. <laughs> We have another. It's a bit tight though, I think, because it's got the shorter sleeves. Unsure. No, I don't really wear this one. This is going to be sold. Just found this dress. I think that I'm going to sell this dress because it's a cute little linen mini dress and I just don't want to try it on. It's just going to make me feel self-conscious, so I'm going to put this in the sell pile. Now we're on to kind of the basics. I'm not going to try these on again because they're like baggy t-shirts and band t-shirts that I wear for pajamas and for the gym. So we've got War on Drugs, I saw them at the Eden Project, Ariana Grande, I think it was the O2, The Shins, I feel like it was at Alexandra Palace, maybe? And then this is just like a plain black t-shirt. I actually prefer, I'm, I'm gonna think about where I want these because I kind of prefer having them with my pajamas, but then also I wear them to the gym a lot, so it's hard. I'm just going to put them there, I'm not really sure. Um, and then I have a lot of basic tops. I'm just going to get these ones out and decide whether you which to keep. Again, I'm not going to try them on, they're literally under tops, but I'm just going to decide because I don't think I wear all of these. I don't ever wear this one, so that's Organic Basics. I'm going to sell that. This I got in a charity shop, and again, I don't know why, I don't end up wearing it. So I think I'm going to donate that one. That's another to donate. This one is kind of like old and I don't really wear it. So that's gonna donate. These are my favorite ones. I feel like these are M&S, but they're really, really soft. And I probably need some more, they're just long sleeves. We have a couple of camis. I have one in black, one in white, definitely keeping. Um, I have two more camis from People Tree. These are just thicker straps, keep those. This one I'm gonna put away for the winter. It's Organic Basics and it's just like a little turtleneck. And then I have this top in black. <laughs> and then this one is probably, I think that, I don't know whether to keep this. It's just a plain black t-shirt. Maybe that's quite useful. I'm gonna keep that. It's a tiny hole. No, this one has holes in it. This is gonna become a painting t-shirt because we don't want to wear holy t-shirts so i need to go grab a white t-shirt probably from m s or somewhere affordable because like i said white t-shirts tend to get stains on them though this one is an organic basic one um but i feel like didn't they go under administration i did used to work with them a lot but then i think they had um a transition when they got sold so i don't know if they're still a thing anymore and if they are maybe i ought to get another one of these because this hasn't got stained it may be to do with the material. And then we've just got a turtleneck and then this top, which I'm gonna donate. My sister gave it to me, but I don't wear it. I've got all of my scarves. So we've got pink, camel, black. These ones are all organic basics. And then these two are charity shop. These are just really big ones. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my band t-shirts in here because it's quite a nice space now. I've made some room. These are my Pangea sweats. They're like the thinner material. So they're perfect for summer for travel. So I usually wear these when I'm going to the airport because they've got a hood. They're not too warm, but they're warm. They're nice and loose. You can wear them with trainers and be very comfy. And actually, I think I would like to invest in a, another pair of Pangea sweats because they're such good quality, but a warm set. So maybe in gray or, hello, Bobby. Maybe in gray, what do you want? What do you want? Maybe in gray or a fun color of some kind, but yeah, really recommend these set of sweats is from Organic Basics. I do love these. The only issue is I tend to wear them less because it's a cropped jumper. So this is more of an at-home set, but I love them and I wear them all the time. We have my Finisterre sweats. I'll put the jumper on for you, but I don't know where the trousers are. They must be in the wash. Oh, 
I have quite a deep regret about these sweats. Alex got them for me as a present. And when I tried them on, I was like, oh, is it too small of a size? And I thought, no, it's fine. And I really ought to have returned them and or got men's ones because this is a medium. It's just too small for me. I don't like the fit of jumpers when they feel like this because they ride up. So if this is where my hips are. They tend to sit too short on me and I'm having to tug them down. Same with the arms. They end up being too short on the arms. And it's just, I like jumpers to be big and cozy and feel like I'm being cuddled. And this, it's fine. I mean, some of you might say this is kind of like quite a nice fit because it's not huge, but you see what I mean? It just is like gathering here. It's like kind of riding up. So I don't wear it. And I don't, I wear the trousers a lot, but I don't wear this. And I think if I could go back, I would return it and get like a large or an extra large or get men's because I don't know. And I don't know what to do about it. Part of me wonders if I should just sell it because they'd get, I'd be able to sell them for some money because they are finister. So let me know what you think. And if you don't think I should keep them, then I will link them on Vinted uh, when I get round to it. But yeah, unsure. Don't ever wear it really, but it's so comfy. Now I have two of the same trousers. These are from People Tree and they're called the Sasha trousers. And I wear them pretty much exclusively for dog walking because they're just comfy joggers that kind of look like leggings, but they're a bit more comfy. They've got pockets, drawstring. This is what they are. These are in gray and then these are in black, but yeah, gardening, dog walking, they're just ideal. This is all of my gym kit. So I'm not trying on my gym kit because, oh, can I imagine putting on Lycra right now? No, <laughs> it's enough me trying on my cotton linen clothes. So this is just a gym vest. I actually don't wear it much because it's tight. Booty leggings, which I need to buy more of because they're the softest, loveliest leggings. The only issue is they're not like squat proof. You can't really wear them in the gym. They're just like around the house or going out um, leggings. You can't really bend over in them. But I've only got two pairs. I need some more, so I'm gonna order some more. I actually also want to order some more gym kit because I live in my gym kit and I really don't think I have enough. I have maybe three sets because I donated quite a few that didn't fit me anymore. Um, and I just need a couple more so that I don't have to worry about making sure that they're washed. This set from Lululemon. I mainly buy Lululemon, not because of their sustainability. In fact, they're pretty bad for that, but because they actually have sizing that works for my long legs. This is my other Lululemon set in another khaki color. These are probably my most worn and I'd like to get them in black. I've got a pair of shorts, which I can wear this summer. A booty sports bra, really, really comfortable. Really recommend booty for soft, like yoga clothes. And then we have swimsuits. So, and a load of cycling clothes. So I'm actually going to put these in a bag somewhere separately because I don't cycle anymore and I'm not sure if I'm ever going to. I do have a bike and I think what I'm gonna do this summer is give it the chance to cycle again this summer. And if I don't, I need to sell my bike and sell my cycling clothes because it's just an era of my life I need to let go of. So these are gonna go in a bag and we'll see. Stay tuned. Here we have all of my swimsuits. So let's just check these. I'm obviously not going to be trying on my swimsuits for you. Stay Wild Swim, love these swimsuits. My friend Zanna, her brand. 10 out of 10 swimsuits, swimsuit, incredible quality, beautiful designs, really flattering. So much so that I've got them in lots of colours. So I've also got a green one, which is just, I love this design, so beautiful. And just the small touches, like the gold on the back and this tiny piece of cream, just makes it look just, oh, beautiful. This is an organic basic swimsuit. It is probably the one I wear the most because it's the most basic and simple and I can just throw it on whenever. It's a bit looser, so it's a bit more comfy. And then this one is from Vitamin A. I potentially might sell this because it's small. Look how tiny this is. This was when I was like a size 10. Um, so like one or two sizes smaller than I am now. This was like from years ago. And I just, I mean, let's see these boobies. Do you really think that this is gonna fit into that tiny little, I used to have smaller boobs. Like I have big boobs now. This, my hormones have changed. I've gained weight. It's a whole host of things. Um, I'm gonna sell this swimsuit. Is it okay to sell swimsuits? I don't know, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> um, this is to dive for, beautiful yellow bikini, but I've only worn it maybe a few, few times because it's too small. Like, let me just see this cup. This cup is not even gonna, 
I would burst out of that. This is again from when I was a lot smaller. So I think that I'm gonna sell. I think actually what I've realized is I can probably give this to my sister. This might fit my sister. Lovely M&S swimsuit, really comfy and cute. And then this is one I bought last year for my honeymoon. What brand is this? This is Ma Ma Mate? Mat Mathieu? Mathieu? One of the lit things has come off, but it's got a nice low back. Very cute. And we have that same swimsuit, the Stay Wild Swim one that's in green in red, and it has little gray pieces at the back. This is amazing. Um, we have that exact same yellow swimsuit in black, but again, it's just so small. It's such a great basic, but it's teeny tiny. It's teeny tiny. This one is out of storage. It's the same as that white one, the boxy linen fox t-shirt. Such a great basic for summer and all year, to be honest. Don't know why I put this away. Now we're into the trousers and dungarees. This is a pair of just very classic black jeans. I got them in m and I would love a pair of more flared or straight down ones because these are a bit kind of skinny fit for me now. These are a lovely pair of cream vintage jeans. And every time I try on vintage trousers or jeans, it just makes me think how much better clothes were back then. <laughs> because they fit me so much better. Like these go high-waisted enough, they don't cut me off, they don't ride up, they're just comfy and they're long enough. So yeah, I have these in a very similar color, which are in the wash. There will be a few clothes that don't feature in this video because they're in the wash, but those clothes I obviously wear, so I'm gonna keep them. But yeah, really flattering, love these. Love them on the bum as well. I've just taken these velvet like corduroys out from sea salt and these are gonna go away for the winter. These on paper are a good pair of classic jeans. I just hate the slit in the knee. These originally were just a tear and I got them in M&S, they're comfy, but I never wear them because of the slit. So I think I have a list now. I need to get a white t-shirt and a pair of just plain jeans that don't have a slit in the knee. <laughs> So that I can have that in my wardrobe because I think I'm gonna sell these because some people will like that style I just don't like it. Finisterre dungarees I wear these all the time the only downside is they're a bit short but love them wear them all the time you probably see me wear them in the vlogs a lot. Now it's time to enter my obsession with Lucy and Yak dungarees option one cord but I do still wear them in spring summer because they're just very versatile. Not Lucy and Yak, but I am obsessed. These are vintage. I think it says run and fly. Uh, I will put these away though for winter because I just feel like this color is very winter. Probably my most worn Lucy and Yaks. These are the denim ones because they're really nice oversized fit and they're really long so you can roll them up. 10 out of 10, perfect for countryside living. This is a pretty iconic. <laughs> pink pair like how cool are these i haven't bothered to do them up but yeah love these they're a bit more um straight legged and i love them especially for spring and summer like i probably wouldn't wear them in winter i'm annoyed with myself this was hidden at the back of the dungarees drawer and these are vintage happy days from penzance and i forgot they existed <laughs> i love them i wear them all the time when i know they exist perfect all year round and they're ideal for things like gardening why did I hide them away? Like, look how great these are. I just, I feel so comfortable in jumpsuits. I just love them. I really would love a denim boiler suit with flares. That would be so cool. On the home stretch, jumpers. These are probably mostly gonna go away. Love this, I've had this for years. This is Charity Shop and it's got a really lovely, uh, like kind of multicolored thread. I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna keep that in there as a summer jumper. This I think I'm gonna put away for the winter because of the color, but I love this. This is M&S. This is a favorite. Love this color, love this jumper, but I'm gonna put this away. I keep saying put this away for the winter, but you know what I mean? I'm gonna put this away for the spring summer. 1000% <laughs> keep and I'm gonna keep this in there for spring summer too. It's a great one to throw on. It's not too thick. I think this is from Trago Mills, like literally. <laughs> this is my organic basics recycled wool jumper I've got it in like a charcoal and also a pale pink but I'm gonna put these in storage because they're very woolly and warm this is the pink it's kind of like a dusky pink color and I really love this as well this is the last one in charcoal it did shrink in the wash but I don't mind it it gives it a different style to the other two it's a bit more cropped 
uh, slightly smaller and um, I love this colour but yeah this is definitely whoops this is definitely going away in storage this is Jam Industries I'm gonna keep this in the cupboard for spring summer because of its neutral tone it's cotton as well so it's not too thick and it's kind of a good one to like throw you know a cold cozy night if you're at the beach or if you're having like a barbecue it's a good one to just chuck on over a dress and Jam Industries is another Cornish brand so very very cool they've got one in St Ives and they kindly sent me this and I love it it's actually probably one of my most worn jumpers what do we think about this jumper my sister gave me this I actually haven't worn it much but maybe it's because she gave it to me in the winter and it's kind of the colour is a bit more spring summer but I like the colour but I'm unsure let me know this is where those of you who are interested in colour analysis can tell me whether I look better in those kind of salmony dusky pinks the warmer pinks or I look better in these kind of, kind of cooler pinks I just don't know people are saying I'm winter people are saying I'm autumn people are saying I'm spring who knows maybe this video has enlightened me as I've watched it <laughs> It is nice, this is quite a nice outfit for the transitional season. A classic cardigan, I've had this for years, this was a charity shop find. It's a really nice kind of beigey green colour and it goes well with everything. I'm definitely keeping this for spring, summer. I would wear it as a cardigan, I've done it up because I haven't got anything underneath but you get the gist. Now this is my favourite cardigan but there is a button missing so I'm going to keep this out to fix it because it does have a spare. This is Nobody's Child and I got it in a big size and it's just comfy and cozy like this or it looks really cute over a dress i love this cardigan so much i've got it in yellow a simple turtleneck i got in a charity shop this will go away in storage but super soft i love this one now we're on to sweat shirts this is by beasties i know that this is a charity jumper and i will link this because i know that basically the way the way they work is um they have different jumpers with different embroidery so this is an orangutan and when you buy the specific jumper or clothing item, I think it's just jumpers though, maybe it's not, who knows. They donate to a specific cause for that animal. So I'll link the company officially because my brain is melted from doing this. And I wear this all the time, huge, huge uh, fan of the quality of this, feels super soft, love the fit, love the color. And I feel like I ought to get a different one because they're so useful for just lounging and it goes to a good cause so yeah love this and the colour is gorge and I'm probably going to keep this for spring and summer because let's be real I live in England now we all know that my channel is probably sponsored by Ohio State at this point but I wear this jumper so much and it's such a talking point because so many of you are either from Ohio or you're from somewhere else I can't remember the the football team but there's a rival football team and I've had so many messages from you saying I will send you a jumper of the rival team just so I don't have to see you wearing this because it's kind of like in the UK my dad supports Spurs, Tottenham Hotspur and their enemy is Arsenal I feel like it's the same rivalry but I wear this probably most days <laughs> it's so comfy I got it in a vintage shop in Helston and I would love to get more big oversized jumpers like this. I love the colour, I love the fit. It's perfect for the gym, perfect for feeling just cosy at the end of the day. And because it's been worn so much, it's something about it reminds me of a school jumper. Just the comfiest thing in the world. This may be a jumper that Alex bought, or maybe I bought it when I went to PEI. My um, grandma and uncle live there. And I think I will actually keep this for spring, summer. It's very preppy but it's cute like with um leggings for the gym it's it's comfy and just something different it's not huge and oversized so definitely keeping this this is a very similar shape and style i got this from alex's bedroom when we did a clear out it's fruit of the loom but i put it on i was just like it's so comfy i think i borrowed it and <laughs> i forgot it was in the drawer so i will start wearing this again to the gym very comfy plain grey jumper I think these sorts of sweatshirts are much better for the summer and the sort of woolly jumpers for winter really cute little oversized Levi's I think I got this in Wild Pony in Falmouth really comfy and I like I like the fit of this a lot this I haven't worn in a while because it's cropped it had that vibe that I was talking about that feels quite maybe 2010s but it's cute with a pair of leggings and I'm, I'm reminded now the the arms are really long which is cute and then it's um, been hemmed so that's nice so yeah good reminder that this is in my wardrobe my Tomorrowland sweatshirt it's got a cool back to it bought this when we were there and it was freezing 
and I, I was thinking of getting merch anyway. So nice little memory and really, really comfy. I've had this jumper. Maybe this is one of my oldest items, potentially. I feel like I've had this since uni. It's an All Saints jumper, but it's charity shop and it's just a perfect sweatshirt. I love that it's kind of got this um, raw hem and it's black, gorgeous fit. I wear it all the time. I think that this is the last item. So what I'm gonna do is reconvene tomorrow with the accessories, so shoes and bags. And if I find any other bits downstairs, like in the wash that I can show you, because I think there's a couple jumpers, that kind of thing. And that's everything from the summer vacuum packed bits because what's left is just shoes. So I think I need to declutter some shoes, but this is where we're at. So we have a pile to sell, which is great. And then we have some things to donate. So I'll see you tomorrow for the accessories and extra little bits. It's a new day and we've got the accessories to do. So I'm gonna do the shoes first and then my handbags. No, actually, I'm gonna do my handbags first because there's only a few of them. Right, first and most precious handbag is my Chanel handbag that I got on Luxury Promise. It's second hand, it's from the 90s and this is a really good opportunity for me to empty. So I've got dark chocolate, a tampon that looks like it needs to go in the bin because it's <laughs> falling apart and what sounds like one mint. I'm just gonna leave that in there and take the chocolate out. This could do with a good old leather polish because it's getting a bit like worn down, but this bag is beautiful. You can wear it longer or you can wear it shorter. And this is my only like designer handbag. We have this little number, which is sentimental. This I wore on my prom or we call it bull in England and it even has the confetti from <laughs> from said bull inside still and I literally don't think I've worn it since then but it is very cute my handbag for my wedding this is just like a plastic pearl handbag I got it on depop I didn't wear this my bridesmaids wore it but it had my camera my phone and my lipstick in it and I think maybe powder so I had something to wear and I have actually worn it a few times I took it on my honeymoon and it is a very, very cute little bag. Next is this handbag from Bean London. This is a vegan leather handbag. It's got a strap that you can adjust and it's just a classic tan handbag. Very chic, very classic, never go out of style and it matches lots of my other accessories. And this actually, <laughs> I need to take things out of here, has my powder in it and some dog treats, glamorous. A vintage number in a similar color. It's just that nice kind of, I call it like, I feel like this is like a saddle shaped handbag. It looks just a little bit more textured vintage, bit bigger. And this is great for summer, especially. These two, I actually really want to put to use because I have a handbag, I'll go get it. It's my everyday handbag from Canusa. And these are Vivea handbags, but my everyday handbag always gets really full because I will take it everywhere to like the gym and everything. And I think that I should make one of these my official gym bag so that I don't have to carry all the other things that maybe I would need at the gym. I can separate it out of it. So I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna go for this one and then maybe in the summer I can go for this one, but they're really, really handy bags. And they've got these um, dividers that you can get as well, which, has pockets for storage and a zip and it fits like a laptop. So it would be great as a, a work bag or a bag if you're a student. And the strap is adjustable, very comfy. I really like the style of these, how casual they are. So I'm gonna leave that out. <laughs> and then we have this vintage leather handbag with beautiful, with beautiful pattern on it. And it's just like a dark brown. I love it so much and it's perfect for spring with all of my floral dresses and hippie dresses that I own. My everyday handbag, which I really would like to get in brown because I use it so frequently. It's incredible quality, it's vegan leather and I have traveled with it so many places and this has not even shown any signs of wear. So you can wear it like this or it does have a little clip in the middle and you can make it into this shape. So it's kind of multi-purpose, but I love the way it looks. Very classic, very simple, gorgeous bag. But I am gonna divide it up a bit. So this is my handbag and then the other bag is my gym bag. 
I almost forgot about my straw handbags. This was from a little shop in Penzance and we did actually have to reinforce it. My mum had to sew it back on because the straps came off, but it's so beautifully embroidered and just perfect for spring, summer because of the flowers. I love that it's round. This bag was from M&S and I feel like it's probably the sort of thing they sell every year. It's looking a little worse for wear, but basket bags like this you can get when you go to any holiday destination, I feel like. The only issue is they usually are leather. This is faux leather, that's why I got it, because it looks like a Provence bag without it having any leather. And it's got a canvas inside where you can tighten so you can kind of secure your things in there. And this is a bag I always take on holiday with me, though I feel like after this summer I may need to replace it, but I reckon it's something that they sell every year because it's just so classic. And this can go in the cupboard. Now we're in my final handbag that I forgot about. This was a bit of an impulse buy because it's tiny, but I did have visions of in the spring summer when I'm just nipping out to like somewhere where I don't need much stuff. This is very cute and I thought why do you need a designer bag when you can have one that's embroidered like this like a little like how cute so we'll see if I wear it this year it has the label on it still this was eight pounds bargain and I just love all the stitching detail it's just beautiful we have two hats two straw hats we're really going through the whole, whole wardrobe I'm just checking for spiders because this has been on top of a cupboard so hat number one, I can't put them on properly because I've got um, a clip in my hair, but this is just a really big one once it's unfolded and actually on properly. It's a nice big floaty hat for the summer. And then this one is from Sea Salt. It's basically the same, slightly different colour and a bit smaller. So it's one that I would wear probably more at home actually because you could wear this gardening, but it needs to like unravel because it does that but pretty perfect for gardening and if I hadn't got a clip in my hair I could put it more to the back of my head and then I just have two belts I actually want to get another belt because I don't really have a like thin waist belt or a dark brown one so we've just got a vintage leather um tan belt which matches those handbags and then a black belt that I feel like was from ASOS and I've had it for I feel like I've had it for over a decade it's a very old belt and even though it's faux leather it's actually in pretty good nick First pair that's come out of the summer spring collection is my Birkenstocks in black. These are pretty much exclusively what I wear through the summer and they have vegan ones. These are their vegan range. I also have the clogs, they're downstairs. They're kind of like my gardening shoe, they're covered in paint. I will put a little side B-roll of them, but I would like to get a new pair this year because they are pretty destroyed and it means they can be my garden shoes and then I can actually have a pair that I can wear out that are nice because I love both pairs of Birkenstocks. These are Vivea and if I have a Vivea discount code I will email them before this video. I'll leave it linked because I have a lot of Vivea shoes. These are lovely mules with a small heel. Vivea are great because they're all recycled materials and they all have this beautiful fabric material as kind of like the base of the shoe. Not the base but the the fundamental design of the shoe is all using this fabric so it makes it very comfortable and every summer I wear these constantly because they're so comfortable and they just make an outfit look nice and smart and they've got a cool square toe. Then we've got my espadrilles that are very Chanel-esque with the black toe and super comfortable kind of like slippers. Perfect holiday shoe from Vivea. These were a bit of an impulse buy and I've only worn them on our honeymoon because to be honest with you I've always wanted these. These are Castagna wedges and I bought them and I did it last minute, it was an impulse buy and they are very, very high. I'm already six foot and I thought I was ordering the lower wedge and it has like a gold thread running through it, which you can't really see, but they make me exceptionally tall. So it kind of outrules any practical use of these because I would only wear them on holiday. Like I'm not gonna be wearing them in Cornwall, which kind of makes me want to sell them but then they're, they're like sentimental because I wore them on my honeymoon. But then is it really worth keeping a pair of shoes like this for sentimentality when I'm never gonna wear them because they're so high. These are my holiday shoe for the last like decade. They're from M&S, vegan leather. They've really stood the test of time. I love the contrast color and they're just like a little heel, super comfy. And then these Vivea shoes, I actually didn't get the chance to wear last year because I think I got them 
at the end of the season and I only wore them like once or twice so I'm excited to wear them this year. These maybe would be a good one for me to take on those trips I mentioned and me and Alex may go to Mallorca again this year, we're not sure yet, it depends on budget but it should be a cheap holiday so we'll see. But yeah, I haven't got the chance to wear them yet so I'll be excited to wear them this year. And then these are my old, old sandals from when I went traveling around Asia. These are zero shoes, but they're so great for everything, for walking, for going in the sea, for running. They are called zero shoes because they literally are like a minimal, a minimalist shoe. I always wear these all summer, especially for going in the sea. Like they're perfect to go to the beach and then you can walk into the sea with them. So you're not worried about getting your feet in anything gross. I do have a lot of shoes. I'm very lucky to have worked with, with Vivea a lot. So I have a lot of their shoes, but these are some Chelsea boots and these are from Vivea. I don't know if I should store them away. I feel like I should keep one set of boots out, but not too many. So unsure. Here is a pair of boots from Koi Footwear that I did a brand deal with them years ago. And I just like how chunky they are. They're just like a nice shiny chunky boot. My cherry red Doc Martens that are vegan leather that I've had for years. These need a bit of a clean, but I wear these year round. Like these are great even in the summer when you're wearing a dress, if you're going to like an event or a gig or a festival. I've got like a few gigs coming up this year. So they, they're the sort of perfect thing to wear. These are such a cute pair from Vivea. They're just very classic, very Chanel. I wore them to a wedding last year. And yeah, they're perfect for that kind of thing. Just very classy. My other pair of docks that are black. I think that I will probably, I will probably store these because they're very wintry and I don't need, I don't need four pairs of boots in the summer. So I'll probably put these in storage and keep the docks out because they're just way more practical. And then these are my knee high boots from Aloha. These are their vegan leather boots. I love these so much. <laughs> they're so lovely and I really would like them in different colors. I'd love them in brown. And then Aloha also have some gorgeous, just deep, red um like burgundy boots that are maybe like this high and they've got a square toe but they're always out of stock and i have so many boots and shoes that i'm just like i can't justify it but i would love them right i know i have so many shoes don't judge me these are looking like they need a clean gosh they've just been rotting at the back of my cupboard these are beyond skin just classic pumps mary jane pumps are they mary jane they've got a strap around the ankle just they're ideal for when you need to do like something formal, but they need a really good clean. We've got a white pair of shoes. These were from Carvella because they were one of the few like vegan leather shoes I could find that were like this style for my Hindu. And they've got a nice block heel, but they're just, again, the very classic shoe that will be multi-purpose for the rest of my life or until they fall apart. And then these ones were my bridesmaid shoes that I've worn for two weddings my sister's wedding and one of my best friend's weddings and then this year I might wear them for another wedding because they're just very classic nude strappy heels that look really great on and then we have my amazing Vivea kind of Ugg dupes and the reason I love these is because they are vegan they are fluffy but there's no sheepskin there's no leather and they are washable and waterproof Washable, I think you can like just wash them. I don't think you can put them in the washing machine though. I'm actually sad I didn't wear them more this winter because they were at the back of the cupboard, but I love these so much. They're so comfortable, but these are gonna go in storage because they're way too warm. They're definitely a winter shoe. I have so many pairs of shoes. <laughs> Please um, understand that this is because of my career. It's kind of like if I was to be a magazine writer or editor or something, you just, you have lots of things. It's part of part of the, the industry, I guess. <laughs> So um, I'm very grateful for it. These are maybe my most worn shoe throughout the year. These are Vivea's just like classic flat shoes. They do them in the pointer toe. I think they're called their Aria, Aria nine, degree, nine degrees or something. Um, but I have them in this lovely tan color and they are the comfiest thing in the world. You can put them in the washing machine. They're recycled and I absolutely love them. They're not the sort of doll shoes that after a few hours of walking in them, they are digging into the back of your ankle and they are super uncomfortable, like I remember from school. They are genuinely the most comfortable pair of shoes on the planet. And they redid them recently to have a more padded insole. So this is their newer version. And I obviously had them in brown, so I had to get them in black. And they are so comfortable. Not like they weren't comfy already, but these make them even more comfy. Then we have their kind of Mary Jane ballet pumps that are very trendy and I got them in red and black and I have lived in these 
this winter and I'm definitely going to keep them out for spring summer. And then we have a classic pair of loafers. These I wear actually quite a lot at home. If I have people over or if I know that I'm going to be like filming a lot or doing things, I'll put these on because they're kind of completely outfit and they look nice. And they've got a really comfy sole. And then my final, probably most like least worn is this pair, mainly because they're blue, but they've got a really cute little um, lip here. I might consider selling these only because I have quite a few pairs and I don't tend to go for these as much. So I might put these in a sell pile. Last pair from Vivea are these stripy pair. They're just a bit of fun. They're nice and pointy and they're, they're the same kind of comfy um, shape. These need a clean. Then have my Karyuma trainers. I might put these in the washing machine because they've gone a funny colour. I think I must have worn them in the rain or in mud or something because they've kind of got this funny tinge to them. But these are really com comfortable uh, classic pumps and the brand is really eco-friendly and this shoe is vegan. They are made in Brazil and they kindly sent them to me, but they're very, very eco-friendly, sustainable, great brand if you're after a pair of classic pumps. And I'm sure they do other trainers as well. I have my classic Converse, which I wish I wore more, but they just take so long to strap up. And realistically, I just don't, I can never be bothered. If I lived in a city, I feel like I'd wear them a lot more. And now we have my Vivo Barefoot trainers. I love these in the gym, though I haven't worn them much recently, but I've got them in white and this green colour. They're super good for your feet if you want to have, um, you know, more barefoot living in your life because a lot of the shoes we wear constrain our feet, kind of like those pointed shoes. They're training your feet to go in a certain direction. So when I can, I like to wear barefoot shoes so that I'm not restricting my feet at all. I like to be barefoot a lot of the time as well. So I need to get these out. They're kind of, probably the reason I've not worn them as much is because it's been winter. So. I'm gonna actually put these downstairs. This is B Flamboyant and they're vegan leather boots. I don't have a brown pair like this. I am gonna put these in storage. I'm gonna wipe them and then put them in storage because even though I would wear, them, no, I'm not gonna put them in storage. These would be really cute with a, um, on, like a, on like a walk, if I was going on a long walk. These would be really cute with a summer dress. So actually I'm not gonna put them in storage. These just live downstairs. If you live in the countryside, you need loads of different boots. So that's just kind of how it is. And then Animal recently sent me a pair of their new vegan boots. <laughs> They've got these uh, cool laces. They're kind of just like a classic walking boot. And I like the color. I have only worn them maybe once and they're very comfortable. Felt like I was walking in moon boots and they're really padded. So perfect if I was ever to do a kind of hiking trip or do a long walk. I feel like I would love to do the southwest coastal path with Alex in bits um, and try and complete it. So these would be perfect that, for that kind of thing. And then we have my most worn shoes out of my entire wardrobe. I wear these every single day for a dog walk. They're so easy to get on. They're really, really comfortable. These are the Finisterre Blundstone collaboration and they're vegan leather. I saw some on Facebook Marketplace the other day, just Blundstones in general, that were black and I should have got them, but they went. And I'm so annoyed at myself because I literally live in these as you can see by how muddy they are, but I wear them every day. They are super comfortable, highly, highly recommend. And then I think we're on to the final pair. These are, I fell for the trend, but I actually love them. So sometimes you fall for a trend, but there's a reason to it. So these just remind me of the trainers I grew up wearing, like Skechers. And when they came into fashion, I was like, I actually need a new pair of trainers that aren't barefoot shoes, because these are the only ones I have now. And I just love this style, this New Balance. I think they're the 560s. Now, some of them aren't vegan, these ones are. So I will try and link the one that's vegan. It says in the listing, it will say like whether it's got leather or whether it's synthetic. And these were the synthetic ones. I like the color. I wear them pretty much every time I go to the gym at the minute because they're a bit warmer than the, the Vivo Barefoots. But I might switch to the Barefoots for the summer, but, and these need to go in the washing machine. Um, but yeah, they just reminded me of my childhood and the shoes that I grew up wearing, so I had to get them. And even though my family make fun of me, I think they're cool. This cardigan was actually something from a shopping trip recently, not a shopping trip. I was shopping for my sister and I bought this one single item. <laughs> so it's a nice cardigan from M&S to add to the collection because it goes over my bum and I didn't have a cardigan that did that. So this is the kind of way I shop. I might notice a gap. So obviously I think I said that I needed a white t-shirt so I'll be grabbing one of those at some point. And I'm going to put everything away. I will probably do a bit of a coat organise in my vlog so subscribe and watch my vlogs to see that if you want to see my coats because they're all downstairs. That's where I keep them but I'm going to put them away in the cupboard and I'll go through them all with you and think if I need to get rid of any or sell any. 
Uh, I'll link my vintage down below because I will be putting these on to sell. And I'll also link you like, so go check it out. 10 out of 10 recommend, it's absolutely incredible. It has changed my life and I'm so excited for summer now that I have this and this is my part of my routine. I don't have to worry about hair and my bikini line and my legs. So yeah, go check it out. And all the discount and um, information like with the returns and all that sort of stuff is down below and on screen. And yeah, I have a lot of sorting to do. I'm gonna put all this back in the cupboard. Oh dear, and we have a load of stuff to put in storage. <laughs> So yeah, I will I will end the video here. You can go check out my vlog to see. I'll probably vlog myself putting all of this stuff away because I know this video is very long. And yeah, there may be a few pieces missing as well. I feel like some stuff is in the wash, but I did my best. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.